Hello and welcome to the third lesson of this course. So if you've seen the previous lesson where we talk about VMV, you should know that virtual environments are important and this lesson is closely related to the previous one. So today we're going to talk about the requirement files. So these files are simple text files that contain a list of the necessary dependencies for Python software. So if you go, for example, to this, uh, this is the pip uh, documentation, the official pip documentation. Okay, here it's described how these requirements work. Okay, this is the name of the dependency, it's like some project. If we go back to our, our repository, scrs 0 we can create our requirements file. So if we remember in the API script, okay, we had uh, the request modules imported. And so this will be our only dependency for the moment. So instead of doing what we did last time, so you remember we did dot vm like this to activate our virtual environment. So then we did the, the pip uh, install requests like that. Okay, see it's already it's already installed, but anyway, just to show you. You can also create a text file containing the name of the dependencies and optionally the versions requirements.txt. Okay, you can name this file uh, as you like, but this is uh, like a de facto standard. So all you need to do is to add uh, the name of the dependency. So in this case, it's requests. So you do requests. Okay, and this will um, will work right like this, but if you want a specific version of a request, as it's described here, you can pin it like this, or you can add uh, constraints like this, so greater or equal than some version, or less than some of the version. So if you go to pypy.org, then we look for the request, uh, the request is this one, okay, it's not these ones. Okay, so the current version of the request is 2.31. So you just write uh, like this, greater or equal to 0.31, and you can write less than 3. So the correct syntax, let's see. Okay, they are using spaces here. So like this, okay. Of course, this is uh, all this is useful if you have, uh, I don't know, like 10 or 20 dependencies, you won't remember how to install them manually with the pip. So you don't have to do pip uh, install requests or other dependencies, you just write them in your text file. Okay, so let's say we're done. We just save the file. Now we have a requirements file track and tracked with Git. So Git knows that there is this file. Okay, what we can do now, just to show you, is to remove the current environment. Ah, so we need to deactivate it like this. And then we remove it. Then we can recreate it. So if you remember, python minus m vm dot vm like this. Okay, and then we activate it. We activate this new environment. So activate. Okay. Okay, now we can install our requirements. It's very easy because you just do pip install minus r, and then the requirements like this, requirements.txt. Okay, see? It's read the requirements.txt file, which are just the okay, request with less than three and greater than 2.3.1. Then all these are its dependencies, so it worked. So now if you do Python minus M API, see, it worked. Okay, so the correct uh, syntax, so there are different uh, various possibilities for the correct syntax. So you can pin the version or do as we did with the less than and greater than equal. So this is another possibility. Uh, you can also install uh, optional dependencies using square brackets, uh, like this. So yeah, there are lots of possibilities for this. So now we can commit, let's see, 
and just commit this one. Okay. Okay, so now we have the requirements file in our repository. I want to show you how the requirements work in MDTalk. So here, instead of a single file, we have three files. Okay, as you see here, we have the normal requirements file, the requirements-dev file, and requirements-freeze. Okay, if we open the requirements file, okay, this is a direct dependency of MDTalk, so it needs the fpyutils package. And I indicated the supported versions like this, so greater or equal than 4.0.1, less than 5. And this uh, requirements.txt file, I use it as runtime dependency. So this uh, fpyutils is uh, necessary for mdtalk to be used uh, during runtime. Okay, if you see here, this is the API file of mdtalk. See here, I import uh, fpyutils. So this is the only external dependency of mdtalk. All the rest of the dependencies are within Python, so there's no need to install other packages. This is the requirements-dev file. See here we have uh, lots of more packages. And this one is used uh, when you are in the development mode. So when you are developing uh, your package, or in this case mdtalk. So for example, since I use pre-commit, uh, I listed it here. I also use a Sphinx, which is for the documentation. And this one is to build uh, the Python packages. Then there is talks for the tests and the benchmarks. And Twine is used for uploading to PyPy. So all this stuff uh, is uh, used only during development. And the reason for that is then when I create the virtual environment, I run this uh, command, see? pip install, okay, there are some other options, and we have the requirements, so the default requirements.txt, which I showed you before, there's only fpyutils inside, and then we also call another requirements file, which is the requirements dev, and uh, as you see here, so after uh, the packages are installed, so both the runtime dependencies and the development dependencies are installed, we do a pip freeze. When you do a pip freeze, Pip is going to go and look to all the installed packages and dependencies in our environment, and then it's going to print them on the standard output, see, because we have the direction sign here, so it's going to print them on the standard output, and it's going to list all the version of the packages. Okay, see, this is the result. Okay, see, this is Sphinx for the documentation. There is Twine, and yeah, as you notice here, we have all the exact versions, so they are all pinned. Okay, fpyutils is here, and okay, the reason you do you, you do the pip freeze is to get uh, reproducible uh, environments. Okay, because this is just the first step I do, and um, the final result. So we go back to our make file which will be a part of another video, but just to show you quickly. Okay, so after the pip freeze, okay, we go here because that target is a dependency of uh, this one. And in this uh, uh, make file target, we just uh, add the checksums to the frozen packages I just showed you. And the final result, okay, is this one. So it's similar to the one I showed you before. See, there are the packages with the exact versions here and of course we have the two different hashes so the SHA512 and SHA256 for each uh, package okay now we're going to install the dependencies from our requirements frozen file okay this one requirements freeze so the first thing to, we're going to do is to remove the virtual environment again okay then we're going to recreate it and now we are going to install directly from the requirements freeze. Okay, so this is the command. So pip install, instead of using, uh, as we did before, pip install uh, requirement and requirements.txt. Now we have, okay, this one is just for some safety. So it must be run inside a virtual environment and we are inside it at the moment. Then we use the requirements freeze as I just told you. This one is very important. The require hashes because uh, pip is going to check for all these hashes and if there is a discrepancy it will stop with an error then node apps uh, 
Okay, it's here. Those installed package dependencies. So it, pip is going to just install packages listed in uh, the pip uh, requirements freezer.txt file. It's not going to go and install all the dependencies. Okay, it's using the cached versions, but so it's doing its job. Okay, and it did this job. It installed all the pinned, see, they're all pinned here. Okay, but now we want to do an experiment. Now I'm going to change a, a couple of hashes. Okay, a cinema. Okay, you need to change uh, both of them, otherwise he's going to read uh, the other hash, uh, which is correct, and so it won't return an error, but if you change both of them like this, so instead of an A, it puts a B, and instead of a 4, it puts a 5 here. Then we deactivate, uh, we remove uh, the virtual environment, we recreate it again, then we activate it, and then we do the same operation, so requirements freeze, uh, require hashes. Okay. So see now it did the first two, the first two were fine, and now it's um, detects a mismatch. Plus Python hosting.org expected checksum B, which is the wrong one, and this one is the correct one. Got so. and see also the SHA two hundred fifty six did the same thing. So yeah, this is just for added safety, but uh, it's just an un unlikely thing to happen with. Um, PyPy because you cannot uh, upload uh, a package with the same version twice. You need another version each time. But let's say if you have a private repository, uh, some malicious actor changes the file, the, okay, if you see here the wheel file, and uh, replaces it with the same version, so with the same uh, path like this, but replaces it, of course the checksum is going to change, uh, you get this error and you know that something has been tampered with, so maybe it has its um, usefulness. And uh, so yeah, I keep it just in case. I think it's all for uh, for today. I hope it was useful to understand a little bit what are the requirements. See, anyway, I'll leave you the links in the video description. See, there are also yeah, the file format, as I told you before, see. You rewrite your uh, requirements on each line. You can also pin them, as in the requirements uh, freeze. Yeah, pip is quite a powerful tool, so you can also have some JSON output. Yeah, the main purpose I separated the requirements is uh, for development purposes. So there is the runtime dependency, which is only one. Then we have the dev file. There is the Okay, the dependencies are used for documentation, pre-commit, etc. And then there is the requirements freeze. They use exactly used packages. Yeah, an important thing about this uh, this freeze file is that all the dependencies are specific for the system it was uh, uh, built with because uh, every package has only one uh, hash. But if we go and have a look at, for example, matplotlib, the, the plotting library for Python. Okay, it's this one. If you go to the download files section, see, there are lots of different uh, wheel files depending on your system. Because for example, okay, let's see, Windows has its uh, see AMD64 Windows, then there is still AMD64 for Linux, uh, another one for Mac OS. And so the My Requirements file works for, for my system, which is uh, Debian. So if other people have uh, Debian and want to try MD talk with the requirements freeze, they can use my file. Otherwise they have to regenerate the freeze file, uh, as I showed you before. Okay, to add all these files and the uh, hashes, it requires a little more work to do on uh, in the make file. But yeah, for the moment, I'll keep it like that because it works for me. Of course, the alternative is just to remove the uh, hashes. Okay, so if you do like this, so just pip freeze and uh, practically nothing else. Okay, if you use this version, so if you do uh, like this, so requirements freeze. Okay, so instead of using the hashes, you just write your pin version like this. This, of course, is more portable, but you won't get the benefit of the having the hashes as I showed you before. But this will work on any computer. So yeah, I think it's uh, all for this video. I hope it was useful and uh, see you on the next lesson. Bye bye.